We got the first of four brake tips, and this one involves friction material and the human braking computer. Next. This video is sponsored by NAPA, your trusted name in automotive parts and accessories. Visit NAPAonline.com for more information. Never take a brake pad for granted. Sure, there's no moving parts, but it is computer engineered and there's a lot of math behind it. If you talk to any vehicle engineer who's working on an autonomous vehicle, they will say the toughest thing to really engineer, it's braking. But for us human beings, it's pretty easy because we have some great built-in sensors. Our eyes are able to estimate the distance that we need to stop in. Our inner ear is able to measure the amount of G-force that is being put on the brake pedal by the leg, which has its own sensors in it, which are our nerves. But if you have the wrong friction material, it can really play with this algorithm. A brake pad with its friction levels determines a lot with the human braking computer. The friction level, well, it matters because the amount of friction a brake pad can generate determines how the brakes feel to the customer. If the friction level of the replacement brake pad does not match the original brake pad, you can have issues with the human braking computer. If there's too much friction being generated at a given temperature, well, the human braking computer will perceive this as a hard or a very grabby brake pedal. The customer may not feel comfortable driving that vehicle. If the replacement friction material cannot generate enough friction compared to the original material, well, it's a whole different set of computations. The customer may think that they have a longer pedal. In other words, they're having to put more force on the pedal to stop the vehicle. This can be sensed with their eyes and also their inner ear. So if you're replacing the brake pads on a vehicle, it is critical that you use a replacement brake pad that meets or exceeds the OE specifications. This is critical to the human computer behind the wheel because if you don't, well, you could have a comeback and a very angry customer. For our next video, we're gonna talk about how this brake pad interacts with a brake rotor and why the finish of the rotor is critical. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.